ज्ञानतिरंधस्यंजनशलाखया चक्षुरुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं कदाम ददाती स्वदा श्रीकृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास दिगौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा सो इन द मेडिटेशन about calamities and our response to calamities another aspect came up yesterday that when a calamity strikes a devotee this is very important a person who is a practicing devotee his life is totally different than those who are not practicing spirituality the whole thing is totally different that is why i mentioned that when a calamity strikes a devotee there are two parts of the uh, event one is the suffering or the misery caused by the calamity and another is the mercy of the lord which reveals through the calamity and suffering so at the same time there is suffering definite suffering which is can be physical which can be emotional which can be familial which can be social and at the same time because the devotee is predisposed to the lord the perfect arrangement of the lord is also revealed that is the mercy if a devotee chooses to meditate upon the suffering part of the event then that gets magnified oh why this happened to me why this has to happen at this moment of time why me only all this uh, will will get magnified and if we focus on the mercy part of the event or we look for the mercy or we search for the mercy with full conviction that mercy is there this is perfectly arranged by the lord for me to become closer to him to make spiritual advancement if this is the conviction then so many perfectional items organized by the lord in the event will be revealed to us and please believe please have faith that not only during that event but even later on more and more aspects of mercy of the lord and more and more perfection of the lord will be revealed to us in the course of time so what one needs to do is of course suffering is uh, natural the ground reality is natural and real because you have gone through the misery or lost someone beloved that part remains it doesn't get negated because of the mercy part but one needs to have full understanding when we are normal not in so called uh, event of suffering or calamity in that period we have to cultivate this knowledge that everything is ordained by the lord for the perfect advancement of a devotee in each and every event the lord is uh, designing for all of us to make progress towards him and all of them are perfect and lord is always meditating upon that how to help a devotee and the more the intense the event more stock of mercy is hidden in that milder the event lesser the mercy intense the event more the intensity 
more of mercy is done. So if you think you are undergoing a very intense event of suffering, then you have to be sure that much more than the intensity of the suffering of the event, there is much more mercy condensed in that event. And if your consciousness is appreciating the Lord, then the Lord will reveal to you how that thing was perfect. In my case also, as time is passing by, I'm coming to know more and more aspects of the event, how it was perfect, which was not understood or realized at that moment of the event. As time is passing by, more and more perfectional items of that event are being revealed. So that makes me feel that this devotional life is so glorious and so wonderful. It's a, it's a privilege to be a devotee of the Lord. It is a privilege to be practicing the principles of bhakti. Because everything is so wonderful, actually. In the middle of the worst situation also, the most uh, blissful mercy of the Lord can be realized. And in fact, my firm realization is only in difficult times one gets deep realizations. In happy times, one does not get so many good realizations because happy times you know, makes the senses so happy that we don't really grasp the inner mercy aspect. But misery is the right situation where one is uh, uh, properly oriented and predisposed to understand the depth of the mercy of the Lord. So let us adore this spiritual life. Let us adore and glorify the fortune that we have. That we belong to Sri Krishna. We are uh, connected to Sri Krishna by the agency of spiritual master and the devotees. We have been surrounded by devotees. We are surrounded by devotees. Let us uh, meditate on this happy aspect of our life. The fortune aspect of our life. How fortunate we are. And how do we express that understanding of fortune? If you feel that you are fortune, you will get up in the morning and express your gratitude to the Lord. Taking the fortune ahead in life. When we don't get up in the morning for many days, it shows we are not able to understand the fortune that we have. One or two days mishap is okay. Long-term absence in the Brahma Muhurta to chant the holy name means we have not yet fully realized that how fortunate we are. And how deep dive, how deeply we can dive into the ocean of mercy of the Lord. And to the degree you are serious on this path, you and me can realize the deeper aspects of mercy of the Lord available to us in day-to-day -day life, what to speak of calamities. How Lord is orchestrating, planning, designing, devising every single thing in our life in a very personal way. So let us meditate on the fortune aspect of our life. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. How this occurred to me, I'll tell you. Yesterday I met one uh, Mataji and uh, she had lost her husband of late. A young man due to some disease. And she was, aspect, uh, she was asking me, how do we remain blissful? It's very difficult. I mean, so much pain of losing my beloved husband. So that time I answered this to her. That if you focus on the misery part of it, you will remain miserable. But if you effortfully focus on the mercy part of it, then you will come to know how it was wonderfully arranged by the Lord. Any question is there? <clears throat> Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yes. Danvat Pranam Prabhuji. Danvat Pranam. Prabhuji, uh, I have a question, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, like when problem comes, like appreciation doesn't come uh, from the heart. Like we appreciate super superficially just to, you know, satisfy our heart. Like we, it doesn't come from the heart. 
So hmm. what should we do? All the time I am mentioning this point repeatedly that we need to have consistent association of sincere devotees. When we fail to do certain required thing, the devotees help us to do that thing. When we are not having enough strength to do a thing which is necessary, then the sincere devotees who are in your association, they inspire you, they give you strength to do that and then you can do that. On your own, on our own, we can never do great things. Please understand. That is not something like, you know, covered eyes or lack of confidence or depressive situation. It's a reality. It's a reality understanding that we need to take shelter of devotees and only with the guidance and shelter of devotees, our life is perfect and complete. On our own, we are not complete. With the blessings of devotees, we become complete. So take shelter of devotees. But remember that we need to Thank the Lord and appreciate his mercy in every event. If you remember that and you cannot do that, then you will run to devotees because you want to do that. So please do that. Hare Krishna. Any other question is there? Anybody else has any question? Hare Krishna. Thank you so much.